oldest of the uh, party leaders here, of course, and you have said that you will stand down. Uh, it, that's ironic, isn't it? Because actually, you're the only party leader who we can really congratulate yeah. after the local elections, because you did so well. Why would you now go? Well, I think, you know, if you're in a leadership position, you, you have to try and plan a succession intelligently. Uh, I mean, you can just hang around till people get rid of you, which is a sort of Theresa May problem and potentially Jeremy Corbyn's problem. Mm. But I, I was always of the view that I needed to move on uh, in due course. There's a very good younger generation of people coming. I wanted to plan this out in an orderly way. I, there will be a new leader by summer, and my party will set up a succession. Do you and I'm pleased that it's happening you, in that way. I wonder if you do regret it, mm. though, because unlike Theresa May, you have a lot of momentum behind you. Mm. Um, I use that word advisedly, actually, because it's political mm. momentum rather than mm. a, a group. But you are now going to sort of abandon all of that. And I wonder whether there's part of you that thinks, damn, I wish I hadn't said it. No, it's, it's, I'm not abandoning it. I mean, I'll, I'll be staying active in politics. Mm. I'm continuing as Twicken MMP. I mean, things I love doing. Mm. So I'm not abandoning anything. But I think it's important the next generation get a chance to work, it, work themselves in. There'll be an election, general election, in could be anywhere between mm. six months and two years' time, and they've got to get ready for that. Was there an element, though, last Friday, when you woke up and, and the Liberal Democrats had done so well that even you weren't necessarily expecting to have done well that you thought, oh, maybe I was a bit hasty? Well, that thought does go through your mind, and then you, mm. you, you, you break up and you realise, you know, reality. And actually, it was partly me, but, but actually it was the party as a whole. Uh, the people who won last Thursday were people who've been knocking on the doors for months and working hard and serving local communities. That's what we're celebrating. Well, yeah. you'd made a pledge and you've decided to stick to it. Um, a lot of people out there, 52% perhaps, uh, might say parliamentarians made a pledge. They said, you know, there's going to be a referendum and we all remember the leaflets that were sent out. Whatever you vote for and you decide, we will implement. We are three years on from Brexit. It has not been implemented. You are running now on a campaign and a manifesto of stop Brexit. Are those people who voted not quite, you know, within their legitimate right to feel like they are failed by democracy? That people like you specifically and your party do not care about those votes which were cast, do not care about the democratic will of the people? Well, I think I and my party never made the kind of commitments that other parties did. We were always absolutely clear from the outset that we didn't think the referendum was the right way to do it. Uh, it wasn't conducted in the right way. We've always been very clear that if Britain decided to leave, we needed to have a referendum at the end of the process to decide whether this was what people wanted. But so you we, are we've a been Democrat, aren't we've been you? completely You're a Democrat, well, and been... you respect when people yes. vote, and you respect that when people vote for a certain thing, they genuinely have an optimism and a hope yes. that that will be implemented, particularly when that's promised by the Prime Minister of a democracy. Yes, well, I'm, I'm not the Prime Minister and I didn't make those promises and my party was always very clear and very honest about where we stood. And that's actually partly why we did last week. A lot of the people who voted Liberal Democrats are leavers, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, because, you know, they may not agree with us on that issue, but we've been completely straightforward about where we stood and they voted for us for other reasons. So we're, we're, I don't have any problem with this. We're, we're quite unambiguous that, mm. you know, we want to stop Brexit. We think that what people are now being offered, there's no relation to what they were promised in the referendum. Definitely you, reasonable to go back to them. Are you not concerned, three years on, that people might feel they've been let down by Parliament, they've been let down by a democracy, they might feel that there's no-one who's actually representing them. People, the, the debate has got particularly toxic. I mean, you mm. must agree yeah, about that. Yeah. All that they wanted was, you know... I mean, there's 48% of people who didn't want this, mm. but mm. that wasn't what was promised. That then actually we've sort of failed people in a democracy. You might not agree with it, yeah. but they do feel failed and things are turning nasty as a result. Well, I think part of the reason for the failure is that the people who have demanded Brexit, and that's the current government and its supporters, mm. can't make up their mind what Brexit is. <clears throat> I mean, that's why we're in this mess. We've been out a long time ago. 
if the Brexit people could have made up their mind what they wanted, whether to support the government's deal or something different. And so we're in this state of complete that's paralysis. Again, that's a failure of politicians, isn't it? Well, it's of that particular group of politicians. Uh, I, I want to just draw a line under it. There are yeah. so many problems in this country at the moment, you know, whether it's to do with homelessness or yeah. crime and the rest. We when just it, want to get on with that. And the way to draw a line under it is actually to go back to the public, say the politicians can't sort this out. These are the choices. Mm -hmm. What do yeah. you now want to do? You've, um, you've issued this uh, or printed a new... Uh, is it a manifesto? Is it a vision yeah, for yes, stopping Brexit? It is a positive uh, vision for Brexit, what we think we can do in Europe. So you've got the one here, but there's also another one, uh, which Susanna talks about the toxic nature mm. of politics at the moment. And there's one that's much helpful? more direct. I'm going to cover this up slightly. Mm. Uh, but you can see that there. You can imagine what the rest of that word says. You don't need me to say it. But that's quite a dramatic toxic word to be using in this sort of environment, escalating the feeling as well? Well, there's also something called humour, OK? Maybe as a country we've lost our sense of humour, but it is an attempt to put in a more pungent way what an awful lot of people think, actually. That we're just going to get past this episode. It's a real a poke in the eye, isn't it, to the people who voted well, to use that kind of it, language? It's clear, it's, it's honest. It's an offensive word. Isn't well, it? some Did people. I don't want to have a sense of humour failure, but it is. I mean, there are, you know, wallflowers who, who get offended by this thing. But, th but I'd imagine this was discussed at length. Can we yeah. do it? Can we be brave enough to do it? Should we be brazen enough mm. to do it? And if you're sitting down and considering it for that long, I assume that was you didn't. This didn't land on your your desk and go. Hold on a sec. What are you thinking here? You would have had an opinion on this. Mm. Do you think this is okay? Do you think putting a, a, a swear word on the front of this, as Susanna said, that is so pungy, uh, pungent mm. and punchy towards those people that voted against it? Well, some is people okay. will be offended. Uh, some people are easily offended. Other people will think, well, actually, these guys are absolutely straightforward about what they believe, mm. and I, I think, on balance, the right thing to do. Um, are you concerned that because? Change UK weren't standing in the local elections because the Brexit Party weren't standing in the elections, uh, that you might lose a significant chunk of the protest vote. People are fed up with Tories, people are fed up with Labour, then perhaps they're not clear about what those two parties are doing when it comes to implement Brexit. And the European elections mm. might actually be a bit of a wake-up. For you. Um, I don't think a wake up. I mean, we will certainly do better than we've done before. But the, the key message. Your polling we, doesn't look well, very good. We, we it? haven't 10 seen. 10% in the latest YouGov poll of voting intention ahead of this month's European election. Well, we, we haven't. I mean, everybody was surprised last week. We were counted out and then we were the big winners. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the same will happen here. Because the, the problem is everybody's got one vote. They can't vote for several different parties. And the people who want us to remain and want to stop Brexit will have to choose. Mm. And they, what I think they will choose is the strongest of the Remain parties, which is clearly us. And Can we've we... got the longest track record in fighting Brexit. We're absolutely clear where we stand. Yeah. And I think when they have to choose, they will get behind us. Can I just ask one last question about the Peterborough by election as well? Because we understand there's going to be a Remain alliance up there. This is, this is what... Can you explain how that's going to work? It's... it's, it's it, who, you decided you don't want to split the vote in the Well, th there has been some discussion between the three Remain parties as to putting up a common candidate. So I that's don't you, think we've yet, UK and the We Green haven't Party. yet come to a conclusion on it, actually, but that's something we want to do. Certainly my philosophy is that we will should be, be working with... Will it be an independent candidate that stands, or will it be an independent? There would be an independent, but, as I say, it's not yet concluded. But what is concluded, later this morning, I'm going along with the leader of the change group, Heidi Allen. We're going together, we're working in partnership to talk to the Deputy Prime Minister about how we get this people's vote, uh, talk to them about the practicalities, about the timing, about the questions. Uh, and, you know, that's the way British politics has got to evolve. Instead of parties squabbling, you know, you actually behave in a more grown-up way and work together, and we would hope this is a small step in that direction. Well, I hope you... Uh, we have to leave you, um, because it's your birthday and you need to get on with the uh, celebrations. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when you said to your wife we're going to uh, an anti-Brexit uh, rally tonight, or party tonight, did you say it was a... Um... Did you say it was a, uh, a stop Brexit rally or did you say, oh, darling, we're going to a uh, one of these rallies? Uh, I think it was the latter, but uh, she, <laughs> it was she, the latter. She, was she, it? She, can, she can cope with that. She's, she's not. A, she's not a wallflower. She's not a wallflower. As is your birthday, yeah. and you're going to this rally. There's often a lot of energy at these things. We're talking about dad dancing this morning at oh. Vince. So you are, are you a dad dancer? We you know happy you're to get a on the dance floor? Well, well yes, I, I keep my weekly dancing classes going. And, oh. uh, when I've stepped down for the leadership, I want to go back to Blackpool and do some more competitions. That's one of more my competitions. Amazing. One of my. Um, Ambitions left. Strict, strictly ballroom, or is it? Would you freestyle to a little bit more contemporary 
stuff well, like ballroom that. is what I'm confident with. But any yeah, I, I do a good drive. Any do Latin? Any Latin? And Latin too. Yeah, really? The, the problem with Latin is your hips have got, as you know, Kate. You, <laughs> you, you've got to have good hips. I know. Uh, I know. And if like I lift like we don't, then it's harder, isn't it? <laughs>